Hello? Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you some two Arsenal secrets that happen to be out already. And um, if you guys want to try them out, uh, you can. I recommend using a private server for this. I'm using a friend's. So basically, you're gonna have to for the first one. You're gonna need a um, a certain map, and the map, the first one you need is Tuscan. And um, yeah, that's basically it. You need to go to Tus Tuscan. Then you need to go to a coffee shop that in the that, that is there when you spawn. But it has uh, some kind of glossy glass, not kind of like the solid color one. And in that glossy glass, there, it, there you can walk through it. And um, there should be like a face in it. Then you, go, then you have to go down and you have to go jump down that platform all the way into a portal. Then you have to go jump down to the platform all the way into the portal. I kind of nicked it, but if you touch it, then you should be fine. I touched it, and then it took a while, and then I teleported to the new place. It doesn't matter which map you choose again. Um, all you have to do is click deploy. And, um, yeah. So it took a minute for me, but after you click deploy... Um, you have firework launchers. So basically, you're just gonna have to rocket jump through the obby. It's, um, I would say it's not that difficult. It took me a few tries because I was, I was using the wrong method for rocket jumping. I, I kind of have to turn around and, like, go, like, turn to the front again. Yeah, I was using a wrong method, but, uh, yeah, it did take me a few tries. Uh, I was lagging a bit, but, yeah. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, yeah. So this is the part. Yeah. You know when you when you get up here, your rocket launcher disappears, and um, you can't touch the building because uh, there's a barrier. You basically have to go to down down to their those buildings right there, and hope that you make it. I almost fell off and had to restart the entire thing. Basically. You have to go down to here in the coffee shop and nick and like hit the red box. And then, yeah, after that, a bug will come out and then it will, a, a coffee cup will tel teleport to you and something like that. And then don't uh, go off the coffee cup because then the coffee cup is going to bring you to a um, staircase. So, yeah, don't fall off. You go down to this, you go up to the staircase, you go up the staircase, then the vault should open. And then all you have to do is touch the cube, and you get a little badge. Then after that, there is a little story thing, I don't know. It's a nice thing. And then, yeah, it shows this. After that, you are going to be kicked from the game. Okay, so the second secret is the Sans Undertale secret. Unfortunately, you won't get the Sans skin or the Sans kill effect, but you do get a cool, unusual thing. So you need the street corner map for this. I recommend using a VIP server for this. I think it'll, I think these only work on the VIP server. I'm not too sure. So deploy into the map of street corner. And, um, in the map, when you spawn, you have to go to this specific store. It's, uh, this weird store right here. It's like a tan store. And behind it, in the gar- behind the gar- it's garbage stuff, there's a little thing. Vault thingy. You have to hold E to, um, turn it. So... Hold D to turn it until it stops, and then you have a little text down there. Then, you go down, and you will see the entire sewer is flooded. Then there should be a portal at the end over here. You go in, 
and you have to wait a few minutes. It took me a while too. After you wait some time, there should be a uh, little blue heart like from Undertale when you fight Sans. There we go. Teleport right there and you have to read uh, something like that. This is like a Sans thing. You click deploy. Again, you have to wait some time. Then you get a laser rifle, and basically you have to hit the blue heart. It was pretty easy for me for a boss battle, because yeah, there's a health bar down there. It was pretty easy for me for a boss battle. Basically, you just have to avoid the bones it throws at you, and um, just keep on moving. That's basically my advice. And then, boom, it's already done. You get a little badge right there. Easy peasy. Then, after that, you can select uh, what unusual variant you want. Uh, the unusual effect is a bouncy, um, it's a bouncing Undertale blue heart around your character. And the only uh, unusual character you can pick are the, are, are the skins you already have in your account. I, I chose the Brick Battle because um, do big, I do Brick Battle mostly. After that, updating servers, and then you get put into a normal server after that. Right there, see? Unusual, bouncy blue heart. Nice, nice, epic. And then, uh, for the first one, you can get the, um, T-Cube. Which basically, in the effect, you basically, um, make people spray out. I don't usually do kill effects on, because it lags me, but... I'm not sure if you can do this multiple times. I don't really think so. I don't know if you can do it multiple times. You actually can do it multiple times. Here's some footage of me doing a second time with Campbell. It is, you can actually do it as much as you want. <sighs> If this video was helpful to you, uh, make sure to uh, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. I don't do these uh, videos where I uh, do secrets and stuff normally, but I do I do Roblox videos. And um, if there's a Roblox secret on a popular game, I'm gonna do it. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye.